Nation here, and today I am doing a 2014 Guardians of the Galaxy set. I'm so excited to review this for you guys, but this set did cost about $20. This is set 76019, ages 6 to 12, has a total of 196 pieces, and this is this is Star Blaster Showdown. Here's the front of your box. In the back, it does come with a total of three mini pictures. I haven't said that, but it does come with some pretty awesome pictures. Now let's go ahead and build it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. The first minifigure that we do get is a really creepy, but really cool looking Sakaar warrior. Or pilot, or whatever he is. But he, he does have really cool printing, and it does make him look just menacing with this silver, this silver and gray along with some of the black. I really am liking this new weapon that they come with. There's a clear view of it, but I really liking this new weapon that they do come with. His hood is removable. Well, of course it is, but there's a better look at his face, and I'm not exactly sure what that back printing on his face is supposed to be, but still that overall he is a really cool figure. The next figure that, that we get with this set is a Nova officer. I really do like this figure even though he seems just a little tiny bit plain for what he is. I am really liking the front printing and what the only thing that does bother me is that this shade of blue is not matching with that shade. So I would have really liked better if it was matching better. But she does have back printing and front face printing as well. And that is pretty much him. The next and last figure, but certainly not least, he is probably the, most, the best figure that comes with this set. He's Star-Lord. Star-Lord is, I'd have to say, a, one of the best Guardians of the Galaxy figures that there really is out there as of right now. Because he is just so detailed and has really cool stuff. I'm, his back printing does show that he has a little bag along with all of this front printing as well. Now, these, he does come with two plasma pistols, well I call them plasma pistols, they're probably like star blasters or something, but they do remind me a lot of the plasma pistols from Halo. Now, he, the best thing about this figure is that he doesn't just come with a mask. You can remove his mask and remove the blaster things to put him down. And it does come with his hairpiece, which I think is a great addition to the set. It also does come with a sphere. A sphere, but I seem to have misplaced it. Right? But it's basically just a little tiny sphere uh, that he can put that all of them can hold in their hand and that they seem to Anyway. Yeah, that is pretty much. Let's go ahead and get on to the set. Let's focus. Alright, so first we're going to start with the little Necro, uh, Necro Starfighter. These are stickers on the glass piece, and uh, I forgot to mention that there is a lot of stickers in the set. There are no printed pieces. I really do like this little thing. It's actually it's actually pretty cool and I think a pretty cool build. And basically you can just open this and the cockpit is taking up the majority. You can just put our little 
uh, Sakaar Warrior in there, and this is a printed piece. And uh, these are little blasters on the side. In this, it can move around and it can adjust, and it's just a cool little spaceship. Now, this is the Nova Fighter. I really do like like this because it just really just reminds me of Nova. Um, the, this is kind of a disappointment because this is supposed to be the main feature of the set. Is basically you can just move these. And let's try and get my camera to focus again. There we go. Um, you can just move these. Even though it does make it look really, really cool. Um, I like it, but it's kind of a disappointment for the feature. Uh, these pieces are stickers right here, along with these pieces as well. I really do like the coloring on coloring on this, along with the little cockpit inside there. Let's try and, let's try and focus. There we go. This is a printed piece, but um, there is well, that's not a printed piece. That's a uh, little. That's a sticker. Anyway, uh, basically you can just put our little Nova figure in there, and he does fit in there quite nicely. Um, these are the engines back here. I really do like the way these engines look, and they're actually pretty cool. Now the pretty much only other play feature to this set is the fact that it has a quick fire missile on the bottom, but it's, it is a little hard to fire off. It is a little bit harder to fire off. There it is, just at the bottom. They are just little blue ones. And and that's actually pretty cool. But, all in all, this set is an okay Marvel set. Um, before we go, I just wanted to say one more thing. What is up with the red in here? I don't understand that. They should have made that blue too because it's just it's just bothering me. Anyway, anyway, this set was okay. It wasn't the best of Marvel sets. I mainly just got it because of the figures and pretty much just how cool it looked and it was only twenty dollars. But um this set is decent. Uh I I'd recommend it. Go pick it up. It is pretty cool whenever you play with it. However, it's n it's still not the best of sets. I will be reviewing um, a Marvel set tomorrow or the next day, and I'll be doing a comparison review um, tomorrow or the next day. Anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how I did in the review, and um, tell your friends, and go follow me on Instagram at DrLegoNation. Alright, bye. Alright, bye guys, Dr. Lego Nation, out.